I don't know how long this thing's been sitting, but I just pressure wash it and it's got a uh, nine year old battery in it, so I got it hooked up to the jumper here. Let's see if this Kawasaki will start. It's got old gas in the tank, too. I don't know. Let's see what it'll do. Leave it on choke, I guess. Hey, typical Kawasaki. Reliable engines, you gotta love them. I'll just let the battery charge up for a little bit. I know this battery's no good, but I'll replace it pretty soon. running on old gas and fairly old oil but the oil checked out pretty clean so I wasn't too worried about changing it. I figured at least the carb would probably be gummed up from having all that old gas in the lines but I guess not. I mean it's got about a quarter of a tank of gas left in it from however long it was sitting so guy that I got this tractor from, uh, he just, he retired and uh, was looking to hire a lawn care service to take care of his lawn because he didn't want to do it anymore, so he hired me, and once I started mowing his lawn, he uh, he offered me this tractor, so, I mean, kind of hard to refuse a deal like that, and these LX series are some of the best lawn tractors Deer ever built. This is the second LX176 that I've owned. The last one I had was about five years ago, so I'm not really new to them, but... And this thing, I mean, it's a one-owner machine. He bought it new, and the biggest thing, or the thing that really sparked my interest was the fact that the hood is all in one piece. There's not a single crack or break anywhere on it. And for an LX series, or for any John Deere from this generation, that's pretty rare. So you can tell this thing was pretty well taken care of. It was just really dirty. I had to pressure wash it, but... Then again, it had been sitting for years. It came from the local dealer right down the road, and I think he had it serviced there each year. I even got the original what, sales receipts and brochures and paperwork with it, so that's pretty cool. But, yeah, he just mowed his acre lawn with it for, you know, 15 years or so, and then he hired me, and like I said, once I started mowing his lawn, he quit using this thing. So, it's been sitting all this time. pretty good. That's wide open right there. It's not surging or sputtering, so I'm pretty impressed. I figured it would have at least need the carp cleaned or something like that, but I guess not. Maybe the gas that was in the tank wasn't that old after all. Let's 
see if the PTO works. There's really no reason it shouldn't unless the battery is really that bad. <laughs> yeah, it works.